How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I have another package um, from either Bricklink or eBay. I'm, I'm not actually sure. I don't think it's from um, Bricklink because it would be too quick. I only ordered the other three from um, Bricklink there the other day. <clears throat> the Arkham Asylum set's coming along nicely, um, though it's taking longer than usual because it hadn't any numbered bags so I had to pour all the set's bricks into a big pile and sort them all out and find each piece from the huge pile so it's taken a little while but anyway let's see what we have in um in this bag here oh yeah yeah okay i know this one yeah this is from bricklink so this is um a, a store a, a store of bricks or something was was his name um and i just got some normal uh, figures that I thought were cool. Um, so for starters, this is Aaron Cash. Um, I just wanted him for my Arkham Asylum set because he's usually known for being in the police force. Uh, he's from the Lego Batman movie version, um, Arkham Asylum, but I'm not really a fan of the other minifigures, but he just looked normal and you have the nice hook hand. So he's gonna be a fine addition to my movie. Uh, then I have the two types of talons. Um, these look really, really nice, nice, well detailed. Um, that one has one of the little sword packs. No dual molding on the, like, no two faces on the back here. Actually, did. Oh, and Aaron Akash has a has a new face too. He's a second face there. Sorry, it's a bit dark in here, so I can't see his. Can't see everything properly. So that's them two. One has the, one of these, and one doesn't. Uh, they they're quite nice. They come the Attack of the Talons set, but it's it's not the greatest set. Um, I might just get the Batman separately as well. So that's that's them too. And I just got this minifigure because I thought he looked cool. This is from one of the old minifigure series. I think it's season fifteen. I think it's uh, it's, it's a spider spider guy or something. I'm gonna um, probably gonna use that for a villain or something. The movie and make him up because he he looks quite cool. I just really like this little back this back piece here. Uh, no, oh, there's an alternate face. Cool. So he is, he's really, really nice minifigure. Really like him. Um, just plain back print in there. So I'll put him over there. Then there's this one. This is the Red Hood. Um, so there is actually the Red, red Hood's face. Uh, I am going to be getting that set the Gator Smash because of the cool minifigs you get in it. But uh, so there's the, let me just, I'll take off this piece if I can. This is a very nice pauldron piece. So it's just uh, the the traditional black and purple suit for, for the Red Hood, the old style capes, and just no back print in there at all. So we'll put the pauldrons back on. Put the headpiece back on, and, and that's that. That's that's the, the the red hood. I think this was a the one in the Batman minifigure series. I just really wanted it because it's red hood. It's classic killing joke sort of thing. So there's there's him as well. So so far that's five minifigs. Uh, I got this one as well. The mutant leader for um, which is from the people, the sons of Batman, etc from The Dark Knight Returns. Um, actually can't remember off the top of my head what set this comes with. I think it's the Bane one, um, with, the, with the big Bane figure. I, I'm not actually sure, but I just, I liked it. And it, he was selling cheap on the store. I got all these off. I think it was like 150 or something. So it's some nice general scarred print in there. Uh, but could, it would be nice to have maybe a couple of scar or two on, on, on the back to have it on the front. And some nice band arm print in there as well, which is nice. And then this is the one, which is why it's probably separately packaged. Packages. I can't say that word. Um, this one cost me the most. It cost me twenty twenty two, I think. And it's the uh, Dark Knight uh, Batman. Uh, he is only available in one set, which is the UCS Tumblr set, which is wicked expensive, and it's it's huge. It's a huge unnecessary set that I wouldn't see myself using. So. Um, there's the back print there of the plates and the belt. Uh, the cape is the old, considering it's an old set, it's, it's the old material, but it is a damn good looking minifigure. 
Um, one of my other, I'll spoil this at the moment, one of my other Bricklink orders has the Heath Ledger Joker. He cost me 27. Um, I bought him and the Batman because I didn't want the set, I just wanted the figures. So I bought them separately from Bricklink new, so they're brand new. There's the, there's the cowl piece, which is your standard ones. And he's like a lighter skinned Bruce Wayne face, but it kind of, he kind of just looks, he looks pissed in both of them. Um, so I'm going to turn it to that one, but really, really good arm printing um, and body printing, not arm printing, sorry, just the body print. You can instantly tell that that's from the Dark Knight with, with the nice gold belt. Um, so so that's, that's, that's him as well. And then that's everything then from this, this small little order. Um, I'm going to be doing a video probably tomorrow or that tomorrow evening when I get the Arkham Asylum set done and I'll run over the minifigures from that set and I'll run over um, the actual set itself and show you all the things I like and then also over the next two or three days I'll be starting up my cocktail videos um, but that'll be for hire and then um, I'll be doing Battlefront videos as well so Stay tuned for them and let me guys know what you think about this Bricklink order and I'll see you in the next one.